Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. I have the all new Toyota BZ4X or BZ4X depending on which country you live. Right here, this is the most important model to come out from Toyota in many years because this represents the first of many in terms of the fully electric vehicle from Toyota. They have a new sub-brand called Beyond Zero and this is going to literally change the way things work at Toyota. So let me tell you all about this new BZ4X. Guess what? I am driving this amazing electric car called a Toyota BZ4X or BZ4X if you live outside the US, which is the first product from Toyota's all new brand called the Beyond Zero. This is a huge deal for Toyota as it reinvents itself and recreates itself as an electric car company. Already the largest car company in the world and actually the largest car company in the US as well. Toyota is going to make a splash in this industry with this vehicle that I think is actually the best electric vehicle for the money. It's smooth, quiet, refined, and absolutely impressive in terms of its balanced feel. So let me tell you all about the new Toyota BZ4X. So here's a 2023 Toyota BZ4X in flesh. It's great to actually get to see it for the first time in person. And let me do my normal engineer's audit. Now keep in mind this is a prototype, not a production model, so it wouldn't be fair to do a full audit. But I want to check all the components, the surface quality, the body alignment, and panel fit like I always do. And you know what, I'm kind of shocked that for supposedly um, pre-production or prototype model, this thing is absolutely first class in terms of manufacturing quality. The panels are well uh, aligned together. There's nothing that seems to be out of place. All the components and plastic pieces are also well put together. And when I tried to look at the gap, you know what? They're better than some production cars out there. Uh, also, looking at the paint job, the gloss is great. There's almost no orange peel. And the paint is absolutely consistent uh, all the way through from back to front. This is absolutely impressive quality. Now in terms of the trim and packages, there are different models that are available in the US versus Canada. So please take a look at your uh, website in your region to get the full information and pricing. But basically the BZ4X will be available in both uh, front wheel drive, which has a 71.4 kilowatt battery, and all wheel drive, which has 72.8 kilowatt battery. And this is uh, quite an interesting uh, way that Toyota is doing this uh, because you can actually get uh, a best of both worlds in terms of having a really good efficiency but at the same time not overload the system or make the car too heavy. Uh, 0 to 60 or roughly 100 km per hour. It's about 7.5 seconds for the front wheel drive and just under 7 seconds for the all wheel drive model. Uh, and this is mainly due to the difference in horsepower, which is not a huge, uh, but there is a 201 horsepower on the front wheel drive and 214 horsepower in the all wheel drive version. Uh, you can actually uh, charge this thing pretty quickly. If you have a level two 240 volt outlet, it takes about 11 hours to be fully charged. And if you can access level three with up to 150 kilowatt hour, then it just takes one hour to charge the whole thing. This is uh, an impressive all-new model that is built in a dedicated plant in Japan inside part of the Motomachi factory. And this is going to be a huge entry and a huge launch for Toyota because they're going to be electrifying almost everything that they have and it's going to dramatically change how they work, how they deliver and how they market all these new products coming down the pipeline. Now getting into the specifics of the driving feel, it drives a lot like the Toyota RAV4 Prime when that thing is being driven in the full electric mode. In fact, the ride, the steering field, acceleration, very similar, but there is some subtle differences. I actually think that um, the BZ4X actually drives a little bit sportier than RAV4 Prime 
crime, uh, even though it has not sacrificed any comfort, it has a really well-connected feel to the road, so um, you feel synchronized with the road surfaces. Uh, it's extremely quiet, really smooth, and in many ways, it feels upscale. It almost feels like an expensive Lexus because of the refinement and smoothness of this uh, drive. Very impressive. This is still a prototype model and not an actual production model, but it feels ridiculously good. It's very smooth, and I just can't get over the fact that this is uh, a new direction for Toyota because I love this new direction that Toyota is going with this thing. In terms of acceleration, because this is a fully electric model, you step on the uh, pedal and it just takes off. It's very smooth, it's not jerky like you find in some other electric cars. And it's just the whole experience is very familiar to those people who are driving an existing plug-in hybrids like the RAV4 Prime. And it just makes it so much easier for them to transition to something like this. The combination of the suspension damping, the spring rate, the way that the tires work with the suspension, really well done. Honestly, you feel like you're driving a car that costs two or three times as much because it's that smooth and so refined. Thanks to the fact that the dash was designed very low, really good visibility all around. In terms of the steering feel, well, there's no surprise here. They designed it and engineered to feel like a RAV4 Prime, uh, but I think the steering has a little bit more directed feel. I feel like uh, in terms of communication between the road and my hands, it's a little bit better on this car than in the Toyota RAV4 Prime. And it just feels a little bit more planted. It feels very, very stable. Partly thanks to the fact that it has a lower center of gravity with all the batteries underneath. Um, but it just, uh, you know what, feels planted, yet it does not sacrifice agility. I'm driving through some twisty road here and it feels very controlled. The steering feels great. It's a little bit light at highway speed, but not so bad. Some electric cars have a really numb feel from a steering, but this one feels pretty connected. And I feel like there's a sense of synchronization between the steering and the road, and there's alignment feel. And so, you know what? The steering feel is as good as you're going to find in any electric cars and actually better than the RAV4 Prime. The braking feels solid, it's well controlled and modulated, and it just feels fantastic. So uh, the whole package feels really well balanced, and you know, I'm loving this uh, fully electric vehicle from Toyota. It's the first battery electric vehicle under the Beyond Zero brand, and you know what? It's very impressive indeed. By the way, this uh, car does have the one pedal operation mode, which is interesting because it's not quite uh, as aggressive as something you'll find in Tesla. So if I turn that on, so uh, now I turned it on and it's not quite fully one pedal in the sense that you still want to use your brake, uh, but it does slow down when you let the pedal go. And so it's quite comfortable. It's very natural. It doesn't feel odd like in other cars. Sometime in other electric vehicles, the one pedal operation literally makes someone uh, car sick. But this is very comfortable to drive and very natural in terms of the driving feel. So I step on it, I let the pedal go and it slows down. So it's uh, pretty good. I think it's they come up with a, a design that is almost a perfect balance. So here we go, it's almost stopped. I have to step on the brake to come to a full stop. But it slows down to the point where uh, you just have to step on the brake just a little bit to come to a complete stop. So now I'm inside the Toyota BZ4X and the interior is pretty impressive. It's got a nice combination of a light color a seating. This is soft tech, so synthetic leather, mixed in with the fabric materials, mixed in with some glossy black. Unfortunately, you do get a fair amount of glossy black here uh, with a very different design steering wheel and also the digital cluster, which is not like a normal digital instrumentation anymore. It's not over here. It's actually higher up above the steering. So you drive like this and you see this on top of your steering wheel. So that allows you to have a better uh, front end view because you don't take your eyes off the road too much to look down. This multi-information center stack is actually quite well designed. I like it a lot, even though it's a very different feel. Um, also just the overall quality is top notch. It's excellent throughout the interior, the fit and finish looks amazing on this 
um, prototype model almost looks like a production level and uh, you can see the controls are here to the left and the right side uh, actually very different design than what Toyota used to have um, but uh, all the buttons have a good tactile feel very easy to navigate power window switches are over here that's pretty normal unfortunately you get lots of glossy black thing here so you're going to get lots of uh, fingerprint as well as scratches I think so that wasn't uh, maybe the smartest thing to do and the rest over here looks pretty normal when you get to the center system here it looks quite different because you have a combination of a touch panel with some buttons for HVAC uh, and you do get buttons for radio but it's actually push button not knobs so I wish they gave us a knob because that's just so much easier but these uh, touch panels are actually quite easy they're way easier to um, use and to manage than your typical touch panel because they almost kind of have a bit of a feel to it it's not that they indent or anything but just the way they design is very easy to push and to navigate things so uh, very well designed here because it's also easy to see it's a big panel here you get the on off for the um, not the engine of course but the motor here uh, and then this is a bit of a unique design you push to go into drive, you push to go into reverse and push the P for um, parking. You get a big center section here for the phone. That's the wireless charger. And this is kind of see through here. So you can see that your phone is in there. Once again, more glossy black trim. It looks great when they're brand new. It's going to get scratched up though. So that's unfortunate a little bit. There's no glove compartment down here, which is uh, not surprising. That's often the case these days, but you do get pretty big center console. So that's actually quite big. And this whole thing also slides forward and backward. So actually no problem with uh, spacing. Uh, you get nice big um, cup holders in the door built in, cup holders over here. And then there's a center uh, panel here. Of course, this one has panoramic roof, which doesn't open. It's fixed uh, glass, but this thing opens all the way to the back, as I will show you right now. So this goes all the way to the back. And the back seat is very comfortable and super, super uh, open and very roomy front and back. What about compared to its competitors? Well, the closest competitor is the uh, Hyundai Ionic 5, which I just drove uh, a month or a month and a half ago. And that one is very futuristic, very trendy, and also quite a well-engineered vehicle. But there's a sense of balance in this uh, car that is perhaps lacking a little bit with uh, Ionic 5. That Ionic 5 feels a little bit cheaper in overfuel than this BZ4X. But this one honestly feels like a luxury vehicle because it's so well-planted and so quiet and comfortable. Uh, this sense of luxury that you feel in the BZ4X, even though this is not intended to be kind of high level or high profile expensive SUV. It's meant to be an everyday car for people to use for a variety of different reasons, but it has a sense of refinement that's sometimes lacking in other vehicles like the Hyundai Ionic 5. So in conclusion, the most amazing thing about this vehicle is the sense of balance between the ride, the acceleration, the quietness, the refinement, the exterior, the interior design, the comfort of the seat, the practicality of this model, all wrapped up under this brand called Toyota, which of course is known for the world-class QDR, quality, durability, and reliability. So not only do you get the best of best fully electric car, it's also backed by the Toyota reputation. If I were to go out there and buy an EV right now, regardless of the brand, this is definitely the one I will buy. It's also priced right. It's also a really good value and practical. And you know what? They're going to sell tons of this. If they can keep up with the demand and if the current chip shortage and the other shortages will not stop the production or slow down the production. So my hats off to Toyota for creating a whole new brand called Beyond Zero. And then a new model, BZ4X, which is perhaps the best electric cars out there. I'm enjoying this vehicle so much and I like it better than a RAV4 Prime that perhaps maybe I will sell my RAV4 Prime and trade it in for this BC4X whenever we can actually get our hands on one. But for now, I'm gonna sign off. Thank you so much for watching. A lot more to come your way 
about the Beyond Zero brand and about Toyota's all-new electric vehicle BZ4X.